So how many bottles of absinthe did the designer at ILM have to consume before he came up with this ridiculous design? Hey, what's up? Today I have Studio Series Skipjack, a figure I'm so glad got made. So for those of you who don't know, who, who, who the hell is Skipjack? Well, that's a story. So during the production of Revenge of the Fallen, Rampage's codename was apparently Skipjack, and he was yellow, but then it changed and all the toys were labeled Rampage, including the Deluxe, which I have looked at already, I'll link it in the description, but they were all yellow. So the community then coined this yellow version Skipjack, and then the name stuck, and Hasbro uses it now. Skipjack was also the actual Rampage model that was part of Devastator in the film. If you want to know more about the whole Skipjack Rampage thing, or just more information on the Constructicons in general, I recommend watching Trans Theory's video on the Constructicons. Constructicons Misconceptions 2.0, I'll link it in the description uh, so you can watch that if you want. But why did I buy Skipjack over Rampage? Well, I have a nostalgic connection to the yellow repaint having only original deluxe, so I wanted the yellow one. Unfortunately, I don't have the original deluxe anymore, so I won't be able to do a comparison between the two, but this one's just better and don't buy the original. So Skipjack retails for about $30 US and $40 Canadian, which is a reasonable price for the amount of plastic you get on this guy. He's very dense, so you're definitely getting your money's worth plastic-wise with this thing. But I want to get my biggest complaint out of the ray, out of the ray, out of the way right now. He has no elbows, and that bothers me way more than I thought it would. Posing him is inherently difficult to begin with due to the unique design, but taking away elbows makes it even harder to do. I mean, in the film, he had elbows, but I understand why they aren't there. It's not due to the combiner stability because the joints wouldn't really be laid out to inhibit that unless they did gorilla arms. It's most likely due to the detail and the transformation, specifically these yellow pieces where the wheels are attached, um, they would probably get in the way of a proper elbow joint. But either way, I wish he had elbows. The amount of surface detailing on this figure is so good. The color separation is really nice and well done with the silver, black, and yellow. It's pretty much the only colors on this guy, primarily anyways. And he makes for a great display piece just standing there. I'm especially happy with how the head sculpt turned out because it looks so accurate to the film that it's crazy. It's my favorite, my second favorite piece of detail on this guy. So, um, he has one leg. It's a jackhammer. I mean, it fits because he's a construction vehicle, but it's the weirdest design choice they could have given to any robot. And why would they give it to the bulldozer? Why not give it to the, the a guy that turns into one of those jackhammer tractors? That makes more sense. But I kind of like it. It's different. It's unique. I'm all for it. It gives the design a certain charm. It's basically the meme of this figure because, you know, there's that. But my favorite part of detail on this guy has to be the neck. It just looks so cool, all like crustacean-y and stuff. I just think it looks pretty neat. He comes with these two guns slash smokestacks that peg into the hands and that's it. I mean, I don't use them. They just stay on the waist. He also comes with a stand. But yeah, I don't really peg the guns into the hands because they look stupid and you don't really see them. I just leave them attached to the hips and that's fine. Next to other Constructicons, and he looks good. Again, Mixmaster and Skipjack are the only two that I have. Now, I did say in my Mixmaster video that if I were to reach either $100 on Patreon or 1,000 subscribers, I would buy the box set. Because when I recorded that video, the price of the box set hadn't come out yet. So I was expecting it to be around $150 to $300 in that ballpark, just based on how much Combiner Wars Devastator was when he came out. However, it's $500 US dollars. So I'm gonna rethink that. <laughs> but hey, I'd still like a thought. I'd still, if you guys wanna support the channel, you can go ahead or you can just hit the subscribe button. That takes like five seconds. Really appreciate it. So I want to talk about the plastic quality real quick. It's gotten so much better from Wave 1. Let's Comparing it to like Ratchet here, Ratchet feels like crap next to Skipjack. I just wanted to say how much that it's improved with the overall evolution of this line. Like the plastic quality for the most part is pretty spot on now. You do get a few misses like friggin uh, shatter, car mode shatter, don't, don't buy that thing. I mean, if you like that, go for it, but if you want a shatter, buy the plain one. Posability is weird. 
like I said, he needs elbows, but what you get is fine, it's serviceable, it works okay. If you mix a stand in there, it looks a lot better. Transformation is quite simple. There are some funky bits, but overall it's pretty good. The, the, the only finicky parts that don't really cooperate with you are just tabbing the thumbs, or sorry, the fingers into the, tra into the tractor body. Vehicle mode is quite good. It's a little gappy, but I can forego that because of how weird the design is it has to turn into. But I love the way the stand stores. It's really nice how it integrates into the treads. The stand port on the front is a bit annoying and causes the design to kind of like break up a bit at the front. But I mean, it needs to be there for robot mode, so that's okay. Um, I mean, it's a bulldozer. Nothing too, too exciting about it, but I still like how it turned out. Next to the Constructicons, it looks pretty cool. But what does it look like next to an actual bulldozer? Hmm. Well, here is an actual bulldozer. It, is it weird for me to say that the best part of this figure to me is leg mode? It's just the most stable mode of the three and it's the mode you see this particular version of the character in the film most of the time. But again, if I manage to get Devastator now that I know it's 500 US dollars, I'll take a look at these modes in greater detail, but right now this is all you get. But yeah, hit the subscribe button if you want me to if you want to see me review Devastator. Um, and if you want to go an extra step, you can consider supporting the channel on Patreon or Coffee if you want. But yeah, that has been my look at Studio Series Skipjack. Um, I would say pick it up. Depending on the color you want, you would either get Rampage or Skipjack. There's no differences between the molds other than the paint job. However, you can find Skipjack now because Skipjack is released in the wave with Blitzwing and they're starting to hit shelves. Rampage is a bit more of a harder find, but if you find both of them, I don't know, it depends on which one you want. The yellow version is a little bit more realistic to what you see in the real world. I know there are red tractor, like red construction vehicles you can find, but yellow ones are just the more common, at least in my area. So I, I like the yellow color scheme more. But anyways, yeah, that's been my look at this figure. Thank you so much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Those links are in the description. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.